Hey there everyone, welcome back to the Big Board. I thought I'd do a quick little, uh, it's not really a shrink rip, but just a little exploration of uh, Guns of August. And uh, this is the initial map. It shows part of England up in the northwest corner. And you've got most of France. And uh, this looks like a game turn track down here. Or placement tracks. This is the middle of Europe, Germany, Austria-Hungary, Austria Switzerland. So everything's kind of shoved west a little, most of Italy. And then over here in the south you've got uh, no, Austria-Hungary is a large area, look at that, very cool. Look at the corner of Turkey here. So maybe no Dardanelles campaign. Oh, there it is. This Constantinople, and then we have Russia and the Baltic Sea. So this will be uh, an interesting little game. It's a very simple mechanic. Uh, I think I may have mentioned to you guys this is an unpunched version, which I was kind of excited to find. If I don't play it, I'm hoping it'll be worth a little bit more than I paid for it. Although I'd be tempted to steal all those blank counters and then the information counters, which are fairly stark actually. I hadn't noticed them before in any of the other AARs that have been written or session reports or things. They look like fort fortifications, don't they? Eastern Front. Hmm. And the various armies, different shades of green and grey. Alright, thought I'd pop that up for you. And. The obligatory Avalon Hill charts and tables. Oh, a setup chart. Cool. We're going to need that. Oh, look at this bad boy. Here is a combat results table. Look at that. Does that bring back memories? <laughs> Very interesting. This is the reinforcement schedule here. An abbreviated sequence of play back in the days when people wanted to not really help you play the game but just thought it might be worthwhile if they did put something in the charts and tables to help you work out what the hell you were doing okay there we go so and I think you've all seen the rule book before it's pretty straightforward stuff it's only uh, a handful of densely written pages 17 different sections, but a total of nine pages of rules. Actually, 25 sections on 17. And then you have optional rules going forward from there, which, if and when we play this, we will uh, take advantage of. Now, one thing will, I, I, the reason why I purchased this initially is that I hope to, turn to train chart, I hope to play. To the Last Man as well. I pre-ordered that from Nuts Publishing. I know it's a desktop publishing so, uh, solution as well, but I wanted to get a nice amount of copy of it. I really like the Nuts Publishing counters actually, so I think they will probably do a much better job than I could. And we're going to compare the two systems just for fun, uh, not because uh, the Guns of August is the be-all and end-all of World War One games, nor is. Uh, the, to the last man as far as I know but I just thought it would be uh, a nice contrast uh, I think there's about 20 uh, maybe even 30 years between the two games or am I talking out my butt 81 and I think uh, maybe only 20 years because I think maybe 15 because I think uh, to the last man is 8 or 10 years old uh, as a desktop publishing game alright there you go anyway a little ramble thought you might like to see that ciao